Hello everyone. So today let me just uh, talk about <clears throat> and show you my setup, my setup for writing scripts using of course uh, IntelliJ. Now, uh, I, I just made a video I think uh, two days back where I talked about uh, uh, using Atlassian SDK instead of uh, Adaptivists, Adaptivists, uh, Adaptivists. <laughs> git repository because if you if you are trying to run uh, or if you're trying to learn script you know, you must have seen uh, on the documentation they have mentioned that okay follow these steps to um, basically set up IntelliJ the problem with that setup was that uh, <clears throat> it was a bit difficult to get support from uh, because it was not really uh, it was definitely meant for the developers and uh, now when things go wrong you need some help and i get a lot of questions from people about uh, that we tried setting it up but it didn't really work the autocomplete didn't work for us and uh, we are facing i mean not really autocomplete but you know the uh, because if you are uh, using intellij with the uh, script uh, script runners uh, adaptivists GitHub repository, you need to link it to your Jira source code. And then you have to make, make sure that the Jira source code is also the same version uh, for which you're writing a script. And I thought, okay, enough of it, I'll probably set up my own uh, uh, set up my own version of, uh, of basically uh, the whole set of basically all the configurations that you need to do basically you know setting up your own jira instance using atlassian sdk so which i did and although in my previous video i did talk about it but I, it was not really a perfect solution but i think i have managed to do a lot of things and <clears throat> it is actually very convenient now so let me show you what i did so this is so basically when you start or when you when you follow the atlassian sdk or basically atlassian plugin development tutorial uh, where they have mentioned okay follow these to, these things to set up Atlassian SDK, you can of course create a new plugin. And I did create a new plugin to get the pom.xml file. So the moment you create a new plugin, you will get this pom.xml file where you can configure a lot of things. So this thing on top, or like uh, this thing on the top is basically something that you specify when you create a new plugin. You can also fill up the organization, which I don't really care to be honest. The main thing here is that uh, uh, because I want uh, certain things to work for sure. I want uh, basically all the, uh, because when I'm writing my Groovy scripts, I want uh, uh, Groovy scripts to, to, to recognize all the Jira, Java APIs. And uh, I am these days working on some insight based script. And uh, you have to basically make sure that in the POM XML, you are including those uh, dependencies. So let me show you. So. Also, because we are talking about script now, in the previous version of the same POM root XML, I had to install uh, script now manually uh, after my Jira was up and running. So wh what happens now is when I when I do Atlas hyphen run, it will of course set up Jira for me with Jira software and Jira service desk, and I'll show you how it is configured. But also it will install Jira, not Jira, but script now for Jira. So this happens, uh, you know, automatically, and uh, I can always do uh, do Atlas clean uh, to basically do it again. But because I want to install uh, script, you know, uh, I have to specify the dependency here, and the, along with the dependency, you have to also specify the repository from which uh, these files, I believe, will be picked up, and uh, it's like the MV MVN uh, repository. Similarly for Riada based, because. It, it, we, I, I want to write scripts for uh, Insight and uh, Insight used to be a plugin which is now shipped I guess with Jira but you need to still to make, to make it work with your script you know, based scripts that you want to write in Groovy you need uh, those uh, first of all you need uh, because the moment you attach your license key data center license key for Jira service management you will get Insight enabled but you need to do this here otherwise your scripts if you're using let us say the classes here like for working with uh, uh, let us say let, let us say you're writing some scripts based on uh, iql or you want to fetch the objects or maybe you want to do something with inside using apis using scripts you need 
uh, you need to do it. And if you're doing the same thing using the script editor, you don't need to basically worry about all these things because it is only the script editor. But if you are looking for IntelliJ where you want uh, the autocomplete features to work, then you need to do it. And uh, and the only change which I did apart from this is uh, this, of, of course, uh, one dependency for Scriptner, the other one for Riada. And then you need to also, and by the way, as I mentioned in my previous video, I am basically also doing this uh, memory setting here. So I want uh, 1 GB. Uh, I mean, XMS and XMX is 1 GB and 2 GB. And uh, this is always useful because I can afford to have it because I have 16 GB of RAM. But now I have, uh, and by the way, when you're writing scripts and if you want your uh, script editor to pick up files from a location instead of doing it on, like doing it inline, you can specify the script route. So I have like two paths that you can specify here using comma, which is great. And uh, if you continue further, because I want to install the script owner, I'm basically using this plugin artifacts. And uh, you can see here that I'm basically specifying the same group ID and uh, artifact ID, which is groovy, uh, groovy runner. And the version is something that you can specify in the properties, which is something that you need to manage uh, yourself, I guess, uh, because that uh, maybe there's a way where Maven can automatically pick up the version for you. But I prefer to specify it because sometimes let us say I'm, I'm writing a script for a client and my client tells, tells me that, okay, Ravi, I'm using uh, Jira 8.10.3, but at the same time, I'm using Scriptner 6 dot something. So I need these things to be manual, uh, to, to be manually set. And of course, it has it has to be compatible. For example, if I'm installing uh, Jira software, which is of course 9.3.1, the latest, no, latest is 9.3.2, I guess, but I want Jira service test version to be 5.3.1, so I can do that. Uh, because you know you can have it because it used to be a plugin right it's it used to be an app so you can do that here and uh, apart from that my script now version is also mentioned here and also the inside version so this is interesting and by the way um, these versions that you have to specify here this is basically the version that you get from the maven repository so it's not super 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 easy to figure out but uh, if you're doing some development or if you have been doing development then you will figure it out don't worry i mean you, you need to go to this maven repository basically the the url from which uh, 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 basically there is there is a repository for uh, all these things and you can basically look for the versions over there it again as i mentioned it is not super uh, easy but once you figure out your your pom.xml file it works and the reason i'm making this video because uh, the main reason is that i want to actually show you that you can have your own super customized version of your own uh, jira running locally without docker and it is something that i have configured to because i don't really use quick reload i don't really use a uh, uh, few, few other things which i of course disable and it is quite okay i mean uh, as i mentioned in my previous video it's not super fast but it is also you know it, it works nicely and uh, yeah, you, you also have to specify the repositories here. For example, for uh, Scriptona, you can specify it here. Also for uh, for, for Atlassian, I, I'm not really sure if I need this, but I'll probably try without it. But because I, I was doing a lot of troubleshooting and I found some uh, example pom.xml files, some like some, some references online, which I tried. And then I have this version of pom.xml, which works. So when you're working with this setup, you can do Atlas compile or uh, basically Atlas compile will tell you if there is something wrong with your pom.xml, I believe. And then similarly, a, a repository for uh, the uh, inside, which I'm not really sure if I definitely need this because uh, now insight is part of Jira. And uh, this is something that I'll still trying to, I mean, if you're not really doing anything with inside, then don't worry about it. But I am doing something with insight. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, the right uh, configuration. The only thing, the, the one more thing that you can do, that you should do is, if you're using, uh, let me just go away from the presenter mode. If you're using IntelliJ, you have to specify uh, the Maven. For example, uh, in the IntelliJ, if you go to the, not, not here, like f for the IntelliJ settings, if you go to IntelliJ settings, uh, you can tell uh, your IntelliJ that whenever you're using Maven, use the 
Maven that is basically from Atlassian, not really systems own Maven. And uh, this is something that I have specified here, which is a you know Atlassian SDK along with uh, the version. And uh, you may have multiple versions, by the way. I just have one. And also the, the, the settings.xml file, which you can override. So so once you do this, I think uh, IntelliJ will, because if you're doing, uh, because if you're doing the uh, development using uh, Atlassian SDK, and you, if you want these dependencies to be resolved, then I think uh, this has to be done. And uh, now I think I have a good setup of uh, my, uh, Good, good setup of my IntelliJ where uh, I can be assured that if I'm writing a script, for example, if I am writing a script where I'm doing something with, uh, uh, let us say, if I'm doing something with uh, Insight, then it won't really complain about uh, uh, Insight-based classes because it will be imported for me. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about, and uh, I hope I hope I have given you some clues, some ideas, and uh, I hope this video was useful. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you. Bye bye.